God is our inviter. Okay, God is the one who invites you into anything. Okay, a man can receive nothing except it has been given to him from heaven above. But the word inviter, mathematically, is so gorgeous because the dead center is great, F V I T, and then you got I am on the left and I am on the right. Great I am equals Jesus. So inviter is I am Jesus going this way and I am Jesus going that way. Like you have to dream in your mind what you would love for God to invite you to or into. And that probably actually is what he's going to invite you into. Or something better. That's my personal beliefs. Is that it has to be something better because God is greater than you. He's greater than your wildest dreams. Um, God the inviter. Now what's interesting to me, as I think about this, is as we become more like the Heavenly Father, we are called to be inviters like and we are called to be trainers and we are called to be pleasers and we are called to be all these um, you know names of God that um, speak of the one above who is giving to someone who currently has less it's, it's just mind-blowing but I always think of God first inviter be responsible for your own satisfaction. As much as it's painful to see people making dumb decisions in the world, you cannot solve them all. You have to leave that to the Lord. <laughs> 